It's been a year now since Julian Assange was taken from the Ecuadorian embassy in Britain. Now he is facing extradition charges to this country to face espionage charges based on his work obtaining and then publishing secret, secret documents. Roger Waters co-founded the group Pink Floyd. He's been fighting to prevent Assange's extradition. He just spoke with us to explain why. Explain, I know you've been following it very closely, if you would, what exactly these charges are about and why he's being charged for what sounds like the things that journalists do every day. I, I can only assume that he's being charged. Um, it's a bit like hanging a magpie on a hedge. I think he's a warning to other journalists who might write, not write stories, because this is, but publish stories um, that the powers that be do not want to be published. And so it's a way of warning off other journalists in the future and telling them, don't do this or we might lock you up in prison for 175 years, even though nothing that you have done is illegal. I mean, so he's being yes. So I'm just wondering the reaction to this is surprising to me. It's broken down along political lines to some extent, though not entirely. But the New York Times, for example, has a long history, usually considered a noble history, of publishing secret government documents, most famously the Pentagon Papers in the early 1970s during Vietnam. Why haven't papers like the New York Times come to Julian Assange's defense? Well, you would have to oh the papers. Well, you would have to ask the papers. Um, I, I, yes. I was wondering if you were going to ask why hasn't the DOG decided, DOJ, excuse me, decided um, to prosecute the New York Times and the Manchester Guardian and the Washington Post, who all published the same information that WikiLeaks did? Why is it that they picked out Julian Assange uh, as an example to hang in the hedge and not those other papers? Um, it's, it's an interesting. Well, that is a fascinating question. Well, thank you. There are a lot more fascinating so, 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 questions. There was, can, well, just yeah, but that one right there. So you're, you're just to be clear, those newspapers published the information that he's facing 170 years for disseminating. They absolutely did. And the Guardian newspaper, I have to say, two of the journalists who published the inf same information that, that Julian did on WikiLeaks actually have exposed odd names and brought people into danger because they didn't they didn't concentrate on their work and redact everything as Julian did. Jul Julian never put anyone in any danger. And the CIA have, have owned up to this quite recently. So that story that was spread that he put lives in danger and so on is absolute nonsense, as are all the other smear stories that were told about uh, Julian Assange over the last six or seven years. And he was quite right to go Amazing. to the Ecuadorian uh, embassy for asylum and to not go to Sweden because we've since learned that the Swedes would have extradited him and there is not a hope in hell that Julian Assange would get a fair trial in the Eastern District of Washington DC I mean because uh, uh, sorry go on no I'm just wondering how you got so informed on this and so involved in it um, well first of all I was just starting a large tour when the collateral murder video came out and I included it in my tour. So I really should be, if, if he is guilty, so am I. I should be standing in the dock with him. They should be trying to, well, they wouldn't have to extradite me. I'm in New York City. But um, you know, every single night of the wall tour that I did that went on for nearly three years, that, that video of that collateral murder, you know, of the young American um, airmen killing those unarmed people and those two Reuters cameramen in the street. Um, it, so the, it was published in many, many other places, and quite rightly. And it, and it has actually been of great value, I think, uh, to all of us. I'm certain that you believe in freedom of the press and freedom of speech. And of you believe in the first... Well... I'm not sure that everybody that walks in the corridors of power does, because if they did, they would not be trying to extradite Julian Assange, Julian Assange from London with this kangaroo court. You know, they have him locked up in a gl bulletproof glass cage in the highest security prison that there is in the United Kingdom, banged up for 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. And the only crime that he has been... that he has... Um, been charged with and found guilty of is a minor bail infraction. It's a misdemeanor. Yes. It's not even what you guys would call a felony. So it's so, pretty so, bizarre. So let me just, that, 
that leads to my final question, which is, in hanging in a lot of people people's minds are the sexual assault, I think, charges that we read so much about that Assange was facing. There weren't Whatever any. happened to those? Were there those... weren't any. Okay. They, they never happened. Neither of the women involved accused him of rape, ever. This was a concoction of, um, of the... Uh, of somewhere in between the Swedish police and the Swedish judiciary, this story was allowed to develop and to escape. And, and it was blown out of... Not out of all proportion. It was completely invented by mainstream media for whatever their motivations might be. The, all the smearing stories about Julian Assange, all the stuff about his cat and his personal habits, and it, it was is completely made up. If you look into... Niels Meltzer, who was the special rapporteur for torture from the United Nations, who interviewed Julian at some length and has released a, gr a really interesting report on all of that. Actually, I saw him doing an interview the other day where he said that he was reluctant to get involved at the beginning because he'd read all the stories and thought, the guy's obviously... Right. And he'd right. looked into it and said it's all absolute nonsense. And when he wrote his report, he tried to get it published in the New York Times and the Washington Post and the London Times and The Guardian and, and, and. Nobody would publish it. Not a single word of it. Right. There's been I'm a blanket... I'm not surprised. This is why, this is why Tucker, it's so... Ama it's not amazing. It's so great that you've got me on and that we're even being able to air the subject at all because there is... It's almost like what in England we would call a D-notice. There's a... You can't talk about it. We've made up our mind. Well, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a I'm against things you can't talk about. I'm for talking about things that I know that you're not getting... You're not getting rich from doing this, so I appreciate it. Roger Waters, thank you for that. Thank you Good very to see you. much.